I thought I'd talk today about manifesting. This seems to be a big subject when I go someplace, I give a talk or I give a workshop, a lecture. Questions always come back to this. I want to manifest a new job. I want to manifest getting a big, beautiful house that I always wanted. I want to manifest my health. I want to lose weight. And so they have these, uh, I don't know what you call them, dream boards, uh, uh, where they want to manifest all these things. They put a picture of the car and the house and the job and, and how they want to look when they lose weight and things. There are things on these on these dream boards. Uh, some people have them in their in their office, their bedroom. Some people have them in their closet. Some people have them in a scrapbook. Some people have them on the refrigerator door. Some place where they can look at these things and focus on achieving that. But all of them, all of them are chasing things to make them happy, satisfied with life. And as long as you're chasing things, you're always going to be chasing the elusive. When you have the wisdom to realize that things are not going to bring you happiness. If you're not happy today with whatever you have, whatever level you have, what guarantee that getting more is going to make you any more happy? If getting more would made you happy, then there wouldn't be a billionaire or a billionaire in this country or any country that was unhappy. And that's not the case. So achieving material goals and levels of, of uh, wealth uh, are not going to bring you the ultimate thing that you're looking for. And the ultimate thing that you're really looking for is relationship with yourself. You could say relationship with God. But if you believe that God and you are one, and there's just this one consciousness, then you realize the relationship with yourself is truly a relationship with God. In other words, when you find peace within, your world is a peaceful world. But seeking material things in this material world is a dead end. So people want to know, how do I manifest these things in my life? Well, it's really true that if you have, uh, you know, put these images and these thoughts and you wake up every day and you're focused on getting this new job and you're focused on uh, buying this car, whatever it is that you're focused on, ultimately you will get what you attract. You attract these things, you're like a magnet. But you have to realize as well that if you're spending all the time to attract these things into your life, why not exercise a little wisdom and attract things in your life which are going to bring you a greater degree of, of happiness? And ultimately, that's a relationship with the divine. And that starts with a loving relationship with yourself. And I know people listen to my lectures, they go, Reverend Bill, you're always talking about loving yourself. What is all this? Everything starts with yourself. You want to change the world, you change yourself. You want to change you, you change you. But everything starts here, within. When you start seeking things outside of yourself, whether it's a teacher, a guru, a, a healer, uh, a friend, uh, somebody who's going to make you whole in a loving relationship, if you're always chasing something outside of yourself, you're never really going to see the true, real you. You're in control of all that. Nobody can make you happy. Nobody can make you sad. This is self all generated from within. So be at peace with yourself. Make friends with yourself. Forgive yourself. Love yourself. And if you're going to manufacture something in this world, manufacture a better relationship, a more loving relationship with you and the God within you and that will expand itself to those around you who are a part of you, ultimately.